So we had E3. Yes. Uh, he said he came out and said this shortly after Sony said that they wouldn't be there again this yep. year. I don't think Sony's. Uh, I think they're just gonna do their own thing. And honestly, like I, it doesn't. I don't. Okay. I'm not upset with it. Like it doesn't. I have a couple you know? opinions on this. Okay. Oh, yeah. A couple opinions. Couple opposing. Oh, I have many opinions here because the internet, of course. I'm on Twitter. Twitter again is a cesspool. If you if you want to uh, yeah. have a happy life, don't be on the Twitter. Pool. But people there's are a like, lot of people on Twitter that should be penal smacked. They should be penal smacked in <laughs> yes. English and in Spanish. Yes, yeah. yes. German. Yeah, that's a hard smack. That's, that's a hard. The, 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 German and Russian are cold, <laughs> hard, cold, cold smacks. Are cold, hard, a cold. penal un smack. <laughs> yeah, those are. Yeah, those are. Yeah, those are, yeah. Uh, those are two separate things. <laughs> here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Technically, Microsoft, first of all, is not at E3. They're around E3, right? Like they're at the Microsoft. They're they're not inside the E3 convention center. They may have like a corner. Yeah, you know, they're they're not <laughs> some guy with a shirt on. They're not <laughs> passing out ice cream. <laughs> they're not around popsicles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, popsicles. they're not around E3. Also, e- EA is not at E3 either. EA is the Saturday. Yeah, before. they're almost not even in the same city. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're you got to drive to them. Yeah. <laughs> However, the people are saying E3 is dead because of this. Like. Every developer is there showing off their game, but Sony decides not to come again, and you say it's irrelevant. That doesn't. That do, that's just. I. That's foolish. That's. Yeah. Fo- it's not irrelevant. And now, is it evolving? Yes, it's evolving, but that's not the same as being irrelevant. And everybody's trying to say that it's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Sony is probably going to have an event. I could be wrong, but Sony, I bet you, has an event in and around E3, just like Microsoft does it, just not inside. E3. If you remember, our first E3 we went to, Sony was there inside E3, and we played Spider-Man, we played Call of Duty, and we played Destiny. They were all in the PlayStation. They just didn't have a keynote. They were all in the PlayStation booth, yeah. Yeah. And they even had a stage. Remember that big stage? Yeah. N- that, that no one was standing around. That is not. They're not. Microsoft was never in there. It was Microsoft, the when we went that first two years ago, Microsoft was always now at their Microsoft Theater. That's where they hold their stuff in con- around the same time as E3. So, yeah, I don't think it's as big as deal as yeah. people are making it. Technically, Microsoft isn't at E3. No, they're not at E3. They're not inside they're the a, E3 convention. They're just across they're, the street. They're and running their own. And yeah. they end the day E3 starts, really. I mean, I think they, they probably they kind go of that kick day. it off. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And I bet you Sony ends up doing something similar. <laughs> well, they have their own PlayStation experience that they do and their own event. I mean, I don't I just What for... made me mad is just people like, oh, it's irrelevant. It's like, it's irrelevant. Is it evolving? Yes. Is it irrelevant? No. no. Uh, and keep in mind that E3, it's nice that we get to see all the new games and everything, but... The E3 that you see is not the E3 that's important in in a way. Yeah, it's this, the de- deals happening. The upstairs. deals happening upstairs, and I mean E3 wasn't public until a couple of years ago. Yeah, it is all these companies meeting together, and that's what this. It's a convention to make to make deals. Yeah, and that's what that's about, right? And so. to put it, put it in, to put it in perspective, like people, even what many men is journalists, informed journalists who are Sony fanboys, and I actually have a, I actually have a theory at why. Uh, why journalists favor Sony? I'll tell. I'll just. Tell, I'll just tell it right. Right here. Do you want me to put on like anything? Yeah, let's get some bastard music going. <laughs> you want that music yeah. for this? Well, or no, something. I don't know. Um, criminal. Like. Uh, oh, I have. Law and order. Yeah, I can do Law and Order. I think. Anyways. I have that. I think I have that. So it just seemed like it seems like it seems like everybody. Uh, a lot of journalists, not every journalist. So, for instance, Ryan McCaffrey, I think, is is pretty good about Xbox. I mean, he's he's an Xbox guy. And you don't have to be an Xbox homer. You don't have to be an Xbox fanboy in order to report good news. It's Law and Order. But you have oh, no, play, just... you have PlayStation fanboys in journal in journalism. I think that that <laughs> that, that show their bad like <laughs> that report very misleading headlines. For instance, tons of misleading. He- Gamespot had the worst headline about the Series X. Uh, Series X will have no exclusive games. Well, that's not true. They're having Xbox exclusive games. Phil Spencer has said for a while, this is a headline that happened last week. Phil Spencer has said for a while, it's not a secret. Generations yeah. are over. Like that's that's we that's actually, such a misleading headline as if Xbox is not making any exclusive games. Sorry. We actually had a discussion about this last night because Sony just did the same thing and no one came Sony out. just did mm-hmm. the same thing and where's all the journalists? Well, yeah, it's just, anyways. Well, so basically we get it on the computer now. Anyways. Which, by the way, is a Microsoft And I'm platform. not knocking Sony and I'm not peop- knocking people that like Sony. I'm knocking Sony journalists. Mm-hmm. Sony fanboy journalists who hide behind their quote-unquote journalistic integrity while hammering Microsoft underhandedly and then coming out and saying asinine comments that because Sony is out of E3, E3 is now irrelevant. Case in point, one journalist who shall not be named, a very famous journalist, said walking around E3 last year just felt less 
popular. There was less people there. When you look up the numbers, no, that's not the case at all. Uh, they had less than the year before, but they still had more than the two previous years, right? Like, and I bet you this year will be uh, bigger than last year because you've, you're getting a console release, right? So there's going to be hype. There's going to be excitement. So just saying that E3 is irrelevant is foolish don't say it it's not irrelevant every other game developer is there just because sony is not technically at e3 guess what microsoft's not technically at e3 either well, i guarantee they're probably still there doing business deals and stuff yeah it doesn't mean that it's not uh they're just not having anyways there's just a lot of clickbait headlines a lot of clickbait tweets but i do have a theory why these the type of the type of reporter who's dishonest about this now there are good reporters that are honest in their game dealings between Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo and aren't bias, but the bias ones I think are biased for this reason. They're snobs and snobs think everything American isn't culture, isn't cultural. That's why they like Nintendo and why they like Sony because it's not, it's exotic. It's, it's international. It's cultural. That's uh, that's, that's my theory. Oh, also, I think I'm correct. I mean, you have Nintendo there, so yeah. And Nintendo's at E3. And if you think Nintendo's irrelevant, pfft, you're foolish. stupid. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo is crushing it. Anyways, that's my rant. I'm done. Sorry. People are probably yelling at me right now. No, uh, no. Uh, journalists, you know, sometimes. Yeah, there's good ones. There's but good there's ones. There's a couple. And on Twitter, everyone is just making these hyper hyperbole comments that are like so outlandish. Like, what are you saying? Like, because uh, will it evolve? Yes. Has it evolved? Yes. Is it irrelevant? No. I don't know how you can say that at all. Anyways, there we go. Yeah. Done. Nice. I don't know where to go from here. Am I the host now? Oh, uh, yeah, what? You're uh, looking at me like, okay. Uh, uh, next yeah, story, so Jordan. Xbox is going to be at E3 uh, across the street where they usually are at the Microsoft Theater in the Xbox Plaza. Mm. Uh, very cool. Uh, Fortnite, speaking of Fortnite, uh, Ninja got his own skin. Yes, he did. He's in been Fortnite. wanting this for yeah. a long time. Yeah, and we have it here if you're watching live. But it, uh, it basically looks like him. I think they even have the Pon Pon dance as an emote. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, Ninja has his own skin, and it's it's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna log into Fortnite.